So we begin tonight with a new plan to reform American immigration, and Tennessee Senator Bob Corker is playing a major role. Now, Corker has proposed an amendment that would strengthen border security both through offense and spending billions on technology to keep undocumented immigrants out. But as ABC's Timon Bradley reports now, Corker's ideas sparked a fiery debate today on Capitol Hill. The amendment would add an additional $3.2 billion for border security. It was introduced by Republican Senators Hoven of North Dakota and Corker of Tennessee. If this amendment passes, which I hope that it will, I don't know how anybody could argue that the reason they're not supporting this legislation is because we haven't addressed securing the border. The added money would be spent on a surge in Border Patrol staffing, 20,000 new officers. Supporters say there would be an agent every thousand feet along the border. It also calls for 700 miles of new fencing and installing more radar and mobile surveillance, more drones and helicopters. Senator John McCain, in a fiery speech on the Senate floor, urged his colleagues to support the measure. 11 million people live in the shadows, and they live here in de facto amnesty, and by God, they are being exploited every single day. The new proposal could become part of a compromise bill that would put immigrants living in the U.S. illegally on a path to citizenship as the added security is implemented. But green cards would not be handed out until the work is complete. We are on the verge of a huge breakthrough on border security. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid hopes to finish immigration reform before the 4th of July. The senators who introduced the amendment are hoping to garner more Republican votes for the immigration reform bill. But today, some GOP lawmakers said they're still skeptical. Timon Bradley, ABC News, Capitol Hill. A lot of you weighed in on Senator Corker's proposal on our Facebook page. Here's what some of you had to say. Dwayne Griffith writes, where's the money coming from to pay for all the new agents, 700 miles of new fencing, when they cannot come up with a viable jobs plan to help Americans? Bill Pemberton writes simply, you lost me at spend billions. And Brett Douglas says, waste of money. Most of the anti-immigration sentiment in this country is based on racism and bigotry. When was the last time you heard someone suggest building a high fence along the Canadian border. We want to hear from you. Just log on to our Facebook page and weigh in.